Well. Oh yeah, I am the CD4 cell in your body, and I protect you against any infection, including HIV. And I have also two core receptors. Because of your human nature, unfaithfulness, and risky behavior, you have forced us to be attacked by this new virus called HIV. <laughs> I am the HIV, the dangerous virus in this world. I have a PDG to CXCR4 and CCR5 of CD4 cells so that I can enter and destroy the CD4 cells. I'm going down the world cell for the fusion. Hey, here I got. <laughs> so doing this, I have the three deadly weapons. This message that I have in the beginning is, is, is mainly telling the community that our human body, the, the human body, the cells and our in totality, we have a defense system, that is the human immune uh, defense system. And that one is where the HIV always it comes and attack. And it always in the cell it look for the CD4 because it is kind of attracted to the CD4. And therefore, in this message, we was just trying to say, yeah, we have the defense system, but the HIV is working against that defense system, destroying it and rendering us without defense system. And from there, any other disease, sicknesses, infection, opportunities, infection will come in, like malaria, like TB, like what? They come in, and now they will get into our body, weaken our body, and now we can develop into uh, uh, AIDS. I really have empathy for those who were uh, infected with HIV. I always put myself in their place. I have that feeling. If it is me, how will I be like? No, the issue of uh, the discrimination, the issue of lack of knowledge, the issue of uh, uh, lack of uh, access sometimes in other areas, you know, in South Sudan people are displaced, you know, some people they don't have the access for ARVs. So I, I feel that empathy towards them. But also I have, I have that hope, I also have that hope for them that uh, with the knowledge that they will, they will get, with the provision of the ARVs and with our collective efforts, with said the support group and the government and we will still they will still have hope they'll have future and they will still live a positive life and one day they will come out and we will not see stigmatize them because they have self stigma and also we as community we stigmatize them so i really have that empathy for them and i feel that one day they will have a better life than Today. <laughs> now we are multiple in numbers. We will infect and kill more CD4 cells. Again, the evidence we do have in South Sudan is that uniform forces have an infection rate two to five times higher than civilians. And that is why it's absolutely important that we strengthen our partnership with the SPLA, with the police, with, 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 with senior prison, certainly, or, or officials. Um, after gaining this knowledge, I know that uh, mainly the uniform people are within the youthful age. That, is, that means they, 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 they are the most outgoing people because of their age and also because of uh, the issue that they sometimes are separated from their family for a very long time. Uh, that means the risk to exposure to this uh, HIV infection is very high in the military. So I, I feel that after finishing this course, when I go out, I'll be able to, 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 to teach them and uh, give them more knowledge about the issue of uh, HIV and how they can uh, prevent themselves from infection. One of the things that I believe is so essential, really fundamental for us, Addressing this epidemic in South Sudan 
is for the guns to stay silent. And Brigadier, I, I'm looking at you. <laughs> no, I'm looking at Kando. <laughs> it's for the guns to stay silent. And some of us are very passionate about this, extremely passionate about this, and that is why we welcome the, the, the national dialogue which Excellency the President has really initiated. I think uh, we've used guns to, to, to do a lot of terrible things to ourselves globally, and it's not just here in South Sudan. But here in South Sudan, really let's use the opportunity that the National Dialogue offers to really heal the, the wounds within society, to really help reconcile uh, uh, the society, and provide an opportunity not just for South Sudanese to live in peace, but also to live in prosperity, and importantly, to live in dignity. And, and I think as we really embark on this journey, we are hoping that the guns will fall silent to enable us to achieve the noble objective that certainly we have uh, set ourselves. We need to end stigma, and, 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 and Dr. Michael said this, and discrimination faced by those who are infected or affected by HIV. And we need to stop uh, sexual violence perpetrated against uh, women and, and girls, which only fuels the spread of, of, of HIV AIDS.